Excellent. All right, we are here, Hobo Studios, episode 27, Special Fishy B. Someone's on their phone again, and one guess who it is, Mr. Scooterini. You're okay? You're good to go? Mozzie's oh, good. Just let him in. All right, we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna get stuck into it. You got something for 27? Um, I like the nine times table. And okay. I'm, I'm doing two plus seven. Trick. You know the trick. Oh. I'm doing so you know times trick. tables with my daughter at the moment, and I like that, like nine times three take one away from three and you get two yep what do you need to add to two to make nine seven seven twenty seven twenty seven yeah i like i like the nine give me another one another nine uh nine times six fifty four take one away from six you get a five what do you need to add to five to get nine four Mm. four yeah okay all right um so uh we just to let everyone know after the first um time tuning in We've got a fishbowl here full of questions, random. We don't practice these before we start. Not, not so all the, all the answers are off the cuff. We don't Can you rehearse or anything. That? We've it's got questions in it and not keys in it. Oh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, how many swinging? Anyway, um, <laughs> all right. Here we go. First question out of Fishy B, episode 27. Welcome, stable mates. Don't forget to give us a review. Five star. Write something I down. I like the Fishy B format. You do, yeah. yeah. Or we, um, also, with the reviews, we're going to do. That in your review. It's like the 2020 of of back on the horse. Yeah, it's just like uh, it, yeah. Let's you get into it. You don't yeah. like 2020. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get into it. Uh, and we're going to we, maybe uh, we're going to do some uh, competition with the reviews. So you write something, give us five yes. star. We've got some coming merch, coming. merch uh, coming. Maybe we should do a fishy bee hat too. Yeah. So yeah. Cool. Anyway, uh, here's the first question out of Fishy Bee episode 27. How many days could you go without your phone? Oh, I struggle when I go camping. Like if Do we you? go out camping and we go somewhere where there's no reception, I really find that hard. I don't but, know how many. I mean, I could do it. I'll, I'll do it. Could you do one day? I mean, I have when I've been camping. <laughs> like I can do it. I just don't like doing it. Like I feel I have a need to be connected. I've got to be on top of things. Could, I'm would you, organized. You couldn't do a week? Uh, if you said to me, do it by choice at home, I couldn't do it. No. 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 I reckon if it would be very hard if I had no preparation ahead of time that mm. I could tell anyone what was happening. Like, yep. well, if I could say to someone, I'm going away for a week, I'm out of reception, and I've got everything in order that needs to be, I've got an autoresponder on. Yeah. Email, I would struggle with the anxiety I'd of that. I'd be okay in would that you? scenario. Yeah, yeah. I'd want to check on my family. You, you're and, weak. But if like, it was just I lost my What if phone? your family's with you? And you you don't have that. Oh, then I'm pressure. okay. You're okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not okay. I mean, I'd I'd miss <laughs> it, yeah. and I'd struggle, but I'd get it done. What do you have? Maximum two days. I mean, I'd get done what I need to get done. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just wouldn't like it. Two minutes. I just wouldn't like it. And please don't do I it. Hard <laughs> just going down the stairs. I know the stairs. Big uh, like uh, what is the word again? Uh, that must be nice. Yeah, yeah. It must it's be actually nice. not very nice. I tell you that. I hate having stairs. <laughs> but, um, you got two lots of stairs, yeah, too. It must be nice. It's fucking shit. I it's an 18 story house. <laughs> <laughs> um, I find that, yeah, just walking down the stairs, I'll get my phone out and. Just fucking look at something. I can't the, go yeah. to the, I can't go to the toilet without my phone. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah I oh, need yeah. it. What, what do you do on the toilet? What you're supposed to do on the toilet? I mean, obviously I pooing, but what do you? Do you know, to entertain if, if you're sitting on the toilet, it's that's when they say you should be. Um, if for all the students out there studying, studying what? Take your textbook in. Yeah, because that's when your mind's at its most relaxed, oh, yeah. and you'll take more in. Oh, for yeah. I find honest. I know everyone probably finds this, but. Isn't it amazing how much better you can think in the shower? Do you guys yeah, find that? Yeah, uh, that's where I do my best. Like, I, I'm actually at the point now where if I've got to think about something in the middle of the day, I I haven't done it yet, but I have been considering doing, <laughs> um, just go have a shower because I'll figure it out. You said you're at the point. <laughs> I'm at the point of thinking about maybe doing it. <laughs> and you thought about doing that whilst having a shower. <laughs> that was an idea you had in the shower. I love yeah. it. Um, I, yeah, what do you do on the toilet? 
You think? But do you just sit you, there, you, you like looking phone. around. Do you I, I don't take my phone into the toilet. No, that's what I pray. Ever? No, I, 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 I don't think so. No. no? <laughs> yeah, that's weird. That's yeah. bewildering. My, so that's my Facebook, because that's what I usually. I don't really use Instagram or TikTok or anything. I mainly just use Facebook. Boomer, but um, <laughs> I hate Facebook. But mine is mainly full of Simpsons memes. Oh right, like, of yeah. the groups that, and they're they're yeah. really far out. That they're one just real deep cuts. They're just <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah yeah. Some I don't get because I I'm not that right into the Simpsons. Some I do, but yeah yeah yeah. yeah. And, oh, we haven't got to Ben yet. What was it? I can't remember the question. Oh, how many days without your phone? I'd you reckon? Fine. I reckon I'm fine. You're all right. Yeah. yeah. Do you enjoy it though? Like, like I do understand that it's enjoyable. Like, mm. turn it off, get it away. Yeah, that's not my natural state. My natural state is to be anxious about checking it every yeah. two minutes. <laughs> yeah. But I think if you committed to it, for like, okay, we're going out of range, like you said, going out in the middle of the desert. You've stuff to do. It'd be fine. Yeah. yeah. Put some yeah. tunes on. I'm not. Um, yeah. I'm not anxious about checking it. I just habit. A habit that I need to. Get to it, and I need to be able to be connected to people. I need to be connected yeah. to, like, I need to check my work messages. I need to do this. Mm. So. Yeah, it is interesting right. when there's say an accommodation place that you go to it doesn't have phone reception, and it's kind of sold as a benefit. Like, yeah, you you want to have phone reception so you can really switch off. Yeah, you could just yeah. switch it off. Yeah, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> just, right. yeah. you can do that anyway. Yeah. You could have the phone reception yeah. in case yeah. of an emergency. There's no TV yeah. in the room. Well, we don't need to team yeah. that yeah. turn that on. Yeah, but we I will. will. I will say that with the phone, the best time to be on the phone is if you go to the shops and then they go and do the shopping and you're just in the car by yourself. That is a glorious phone moment. You can just do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Well, I do yeah. that. I took, take Cam to basketball training on a Thursday night and I'll take him inside and he'll start his training. I'll just go and sit in the car mm. for an hour and that's just phone time. It's that's guilt free. Guilt you're free waiting there. You're going to be there anyway. I'm potty. Oh, yeah. I'm on the phone. I can't do anything. I'll tell you one time I was a hero. And I could have very easily not been. Good bloke award. Um, what's that? But your award. Oh, my award, yeah, yeah. Um, so when... That's a wanker award. Josh was like, I don't know, what, <laughs> three or four or five or something. I don't know. He had swimming lessons. At, it was kind of like at a, someone's house. Where they, they had a swimming business, but it was really just their house. You know? And he was in the pool with the swimming teacher. And... Like, often in that situation, because there was a fence, I was outside the fence, uh, I'd probably yeah. be tempted to just be, I'll just browse my phone while he's having a swimming lesson. Yeah. This particular time, I was like, no, I'm just going to be an actual dad and watch him have his swimming lesson. Yeah. And, or maybe I just wanted everyone to think I was Thank an you for doing that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, I was attentive. <clears throat> I was on, like, leaning against the fence watching the, what he was doing yeah. and everything. And he was on the had the teacher had about four or five kids that she was doing laps across the pool, just a width wise. The kids not doing the lap at the time were just on the fan on the step. In it. And I saw him just he was on the step and then he just kind of just walked off the step and was just like basically sinking. Into oh, really? the water. <laughs> and the teacher didn't realize like she was didn't like completely see. distracted with like she just assumed Shit. that these kids were just, just they're all good yeah and so that's when so i i had to i kind of just escalate it. i was like hey you might want to grab yeah, him hey, hey you know and I, I ended up having to yell hey he's fell on off the thing <sighs> so yeah if i had have been on my on phone, your phone yeah it would have been yeah, yeah. So. i guess i, I that's mine's scary. about music like I, I play music through my phone and uh, now what I've done with Bullfed is that uh, uh, Bullfed's my ride on mower. <laughs> That's what we call Bullfed. So I've got the oh, earphones yeah. that you play, the Bluetooth. Yeah. And the other day I had them on and I was playing music and I was bloody, I think Van Halen come on, I'm on the ride on mower and I'm kicking and doing all that yeah. Eddie Van Halen stuff That's like awesome, this. Yeah, and You've I looked over. careful of your knees. <laughs> I know. I looked over and the neighbours are just going like this <laughs> on this big paddock. Yeah. And I'm singing away. Top, like they, they can only hear the motor and me singing, but yeah, that's <laughs> probably the fun. If, yeah. if only they knew that you just called it the Bluetooth. <laughs> <laughs> is that what I called it? The Bluetooth. Well, the Bluetooth, Bluetooth earphone. Yeah. All right, uh, next question. Out of Fishy B. Uh, watch out for the next coming up Fishy B hats. Oh, <laughs> you'll want one. Uh, um, what does your ideal three-course menu look like? Uh, 
Oh. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. <laughs> yes. uh, I'm, uh, I'd go, I like salt and pepper squid yes. for an entree with a nice tartare sauce, even aioli, a couple of chips. Then, like I said, uh, previous episode, I think we talked about a meal of probably maybe go lasagna or a nice steak and salad and chips. <laughs> yep, that's it. Still um, nice, and dessert, I'm not, I don't eat much dessert. Yeah, me either. No, I'm not a big dessert eater. Maybe a, I don't know, an ice cream cone or something like <laughs> I'd that. Punch, <laughs> I'd punch out a cheesecake for dessert. Oh, okay. I, I yeah. don't do it very often, but if I was going to have a dessert, I'd go a cheesecake just with a good cookie crumble or whatever it is, base or something. Yeah. Um, entree. Depends on the main. Like if it, if it was a pasta yeah. main, then I'd go garlic bread as an entree, just like a cheesy garlic bread or something like that. Ah, but I yeah. do like salt and pepper squid as well. Yeah. Um, it depends where we're going. Like I find it so hard to overlook a palmy on a menu. Yeah. Especially if I go somewhere that I'm not going to go again. Like if we go and do a gig down in Bellingen or something, then I'm going to try their palmy. Yeah. Like we I'm should not do that not, palmy tour. Remember we going to the yeah, palmy tour? Yeah, we're going to do that. We, we're still going to do that. Yeah. So I think palmy is the ideal. If it's a palmy as the main, I reckon you're right on the salt and pepper squid. Yeah. It's a good one. So. Benji, you got one? Yeah, Before I'm... we unleash the beast. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. I'm going to go a little left field and go Asian food. Oh, so I reckon yeah. dump, dumplings are where it's at for the entree. Oh, They're pretty good. I love dumplings. And good then some thinking. kind of some noodles or something like that. Yeah. Spicy. Yeah. It's all get out. Not much for Asian desserts or so probably past that. Have you tried deep fried ice cream? I was just going to say Yeah, that. that's it's pretty good. really good. Yeah. DFIC. Yeah. 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 Um, Star Un- Casino, unnecessary. Star <laughs> Casino down the Gold Coast. There's a really good dumpling place. Oh, really? Yeah. There, if you just want a light meal because you're going to drink four thousand liters of booze, <laughs> <laughs> just getting some dumplings into you at this place is fucking good. All right, All right here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Strap, Strap in. in. Strap so in. the entree has to be steak tart, steak tartare. Right, tartar. Whatever you say it. It's like sounds expensive. Tartare. <laughs> yeah, it must be nice. <laughs> So, yeah, it's, it's diced, raw, really nice steak in some sort of... It's kind of like... It's, it's cooked in... Not cooked, but it's in some acidic thing. It's got the, the egg yolk and some capers and some diced onion. Oh, it's just beautiful. Steak tartare. <laughs> so good. getting Remember wood. that one I had, in I had in Melbourne? Did you have any of that one? Where I ordered the second one? Oh, so you got, you got two. I, yeah. I did try. Yeah, you got two. Do you like it? Yeah, yeah. I did like yeah. it. It was good. So steak tartare, that particular one that I had there, if I could recreate that, that'd be awesome. Then. We were walking around Melbourne looking for a pub meal, and we just couldn't find yeah, It's hard to find a pub meal in Melbourne. Really? And we ended up in this fucking fine dining restaurant. It was a work trip. Yeah. We ended up in this fine dining restaurant. We're just like, ah, oh, fuck it. It cost yeah. a fortune. <laughs> and Scoot got steak tartare as the entree. And he, got and he loved it. He's just like, can you bring me another one of those? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Must um, be yeah. So definitely have that. If somehow I could squeeze some seared scallops, like as a as a second entree, then I'm not allowed to do that. So, no, but just know that I would. Oh, if, okay, yeah, yeah. No, that's fair. Um, main meal, definitely a nice, thick, I fill it on a bed of bubble and squeak oh, yeah. with some uh, red wine jus yeah. and maybe like a beetroot salad, just a little bit. All the stable mates the out there are getting hungry. Yeah, it's a starving. nice, thick, rare, I yeah. fill it. Yeah. That's that. Rare. Yep. Yep. On the potato bubble and squeak. Yeah. A bit of crispiness, a bit. Yep. It's going to be good. And then dessert's a bit of a tough one. I haven't really thought this through properly. I did like the DFIC idea, the DFIC, um, like deep fried ice cream. Um, <laughs> I didn't even know what that and, was when I said it. <laughs> but I, I thought cream brulee is a nice one. What else is there dessert wise? Like, I like a black forest cake, but that's. Doesn't feel like that's the setting for this. The Coles ones. If you got a pretty big juicy. <laughs> <thing. laughs> uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I'll go to the creme brulee. Uh, Stick um, with was, the original option. <laughs> just was Leggy at the meeting? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not sure. Was he at the pre <laughs> the pre show meeting? What other desserts are there? What other desserts are there? I just keep Ben on his toes. <laughs> 
Something with a vanilla bean ice cream, like a really nice ice cream with something. What about apple a Viennetta? Pie, apple pie. No. Sorry, I don't like Viennetta. <laughs> no, no, I don't like I, I like either. it, but I the, the chocolate. Right, I don't like favorite? the texture of it. The chocolate, I'm not big It doesn't feel good eating a Viennetta. I'll eat it. The right. texture, Especially. it's all over the place. Yeah. Steak in your teeth, yeah. All right. Yeah. Not very good. So I do like yeah. a Coles chocolate cake. Oh, uh, is it Woolworths? Go Coles. Mud cake. Mud cake. Yeah, they yeah. both make a good yeah, muddy. Oh, yeah. yeah, good muddy. Muddy see. All right. Um, will you light candles for a romantic night in? No, nah, fuck no. <laughs> I don't know if I ever have. I might. I might. No, sorry, that's not true. I might light a citronella candle. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Hang on, love. <laughs> Get the coils out. <laughs> like at the dinner table, like on the table. Oh, just a, do, a so you having a, the kids are out and you, you and the wife home. And oh, we might chuck one up in the beddy, but <laughs> the like beddy. a little candle in the bedroom. Just a nice scent. That's a bit of a fire risk. <laughs> Remember at my Citronella wedding? at the table would be good though. Um, you know Jordan. Remember Jordan Ben. Like, like, well, no, this is one of the greatest. The yeah, this yeah. is one of the greatest remember, things of all time. Yeah, well, it's not as funny as you made it sound. <laughs> no, it's really funny. It was really funny. Can I tell it? Yeah, of Can I tell it? <laughs> at Scott's wedding, they had these little tea no, tea tree candles. Is that what they uh, call lights or whatever? Tea, tea lights. Oh, yeah, they had yeah. Like little candles all around the place. And Jordan stood too close to it. His shirt set on fire. Oh, did it really? <laughs> 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 it was oh, very man. funny. Oh, no, I love candles. I, I, like, I nearly light candles every night. You do. Every time I come down to your place, you light a candle and I think you're trying to have sex with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not until after Maybe you've you slipped your roofie. You used, to, <laughs> you used to have to have candles on the top drawer or like wherever, like your kitchen or something with matches in case of blackout. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't know. I've always got candles. Now everyone's just got their phone. Yep. Yeah. All right, Benji, uh, candle. Nah. Nah. Citronella, mossy coil. Yeah, yeah mossy coil. coil. Uh, all right. Uh, Firecracker. <laughs> <laughs> fireworks in the street. Did you ever buy get fireworks from Canberra? No, nah. never been. To no, I did. I, uh, I got them. I got some once. Uh, yeah. We go. What, what is it in Canberra? Um, fireworks. It's leaks. Fireworks and porn. Yeah. The su- yeah. The suburb. What's it called? Uh, something which fish. Fish wick. Fish, fish wick. Fish That's wick. It. Yeah. Is that what it is? Nah. Yeah. It's kind of like. <laughs> I don't know. Is this repeated content? Oh, just fucking say it. Um, <laughs> have I told the one about the big pineapple? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Have you? Oh, we'll move on then. All right. Um, just in case, I mean, if you haven't listened to that episode, it's probably episode what? Seven. Go no. listen to that one. It might be in there. All right. Sorry, uh, I can't say it again. Now, I know we can't give <laughs> tips on this. Um, because we're not qualified, and you can't even if you are qualified. But I'll give, uh, I'll give you give some give some advice. Crypto is, or shares? Traditional shares. Is this a fishy big question? Yeah. Okay. I just don't see you holding it. No, I just I, is oh, there, like, yeah. crypto or shares. Uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, do do I you know have it. either or or I've, just I've one? I've got only crypto. Right and. Shout out to Bitcoin it is absolutely going fucking at the time of recording. At the time of recording. <laughs> by the time, yeah, well at the time screen. of recording, by the Good time work. of actually releasing it, it could be in the pits. Who knows? <laughs> but all time high. Um, I don't know. Like, That's because I got on it. Ever yeah, since yeah, yeah, you're a good yeah, omen. Good omen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've got both. Yeah. Uh, now I I've only had sort of dabbled in the traditional shares a little bit. Now mm. I've got a bit of crypto as well. So I think yeah. it's horses for courses, isn't it? Like it's it's crypto is obviously high risk, high, risk, high yeah. reward, high yeah. loss, whatever. Shares, it gets a bit more steady, obviously Long depending term. on what you buy. Like yeah. with shares, you can diversify by, you know, getting an ETF that just has a mix of different shit. Yeah. So I guess that's, it's what you're looking for. If you're looking for, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, having a flutter, like, and I think crypto is more in the gambling space. I would say. Ah, yeah. right. Um, yeah. And, okay. I would, I would no, under your I, to that. I would say, <laughs> I reckon, given the chats about crypto, uh, uh, when you say crypto specifically, Bitcoin. Right. Given all the chats at the moment about it becoming the new gold for storage, I reckon it's probably now crossed over from gambling to a real thing. It was definitely gambling in the fucking early stages. I reckon it's now solidified yeah. itself as 
Like it's not going to the the dot com bubble's not going to burst and everyone's going to lose their money. I'm just saying that. I'll say it's Maybe, safe yeah. enough as hopefully that for it right now. Yeah, but just remember that Bitcoin is not. It's only valuable while someone thinks it has value. Yeah. Whereas a share is literally a share in a business, and a mm. business has a purpose. Mm. It sells to go something. Well. Yep. That makes money. Yep. Like it has a utility usually. Yep. Until like real estate has country. ultimate utility. People need to live somewhere. Yep. There's, a, there's an underlying value to it. Yep. Business has an underlying value in the in the product or service it does. Crypto, like currency, like gold, is only valuable while I mean maybe gold has a utility as well, but it's only valuable while, while we all agree that that is worth something. Yeah, right. you know what I mean. Yeah, I is, reckon. Is crypto the brown snakes? Of yeah, no, it's not. Like, <laughs> no, it's not. I'll say this: your property is still a safe investment. Invest in your super, and then anything else is is probably gambling. This is yeah. not financial advice, but no, it's not. No, it's <laughs> not. Even shares, shares, crypto, it's it's all game. And you don't, don't ever don't invest in an amount that you. Yeah, yeah then it's gonna. Point. Yeah, yeah, it's that'll affect end you. Yeah. Bit, yeah. I reckon yeah. the I reckon the best investment is your super because that's for your future. Mm. And yep. like yep. my my goal is to get to retirement where we can travel. Yep. So why wouldn't I invest in super? Yep. So, yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fuck, that got real serious. Cool. Didn't oh it? yeah, no, it's, it's, we we cover every aspect here on Leggy did and every say subject. A terrible word earlier. Um. Are you getting so, cold? Sorry, I was a bit cryptic there. I just say the aircon's a bit cool. Oh, you're cold. Oh, all right. It must be nice to have an aircon. Yeah, in, your, in your own <laughs> studio. Your shed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, now, oh, this is a bit of a weird one, but what do you think people think of you? Oh, dear. How That's do you think you're perceived by other people? Well, I, I'm not, I don't really care. I'm not too worried. I care in some aspects of, say, um, because I have a business and we have our own band and that kind of thing. So there's a, 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 a touch of thing there where you, you don't want to, if you're trying to get work and say my line of work as yep. a landscaper, I don't want to come across as a fucking tool. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I want to come across as competent and that kind of thing. And so other than that, if I meet someone somewhere and they, they've got nothing, I don't really mind what they think of me. But it's it's interesting to think of how people do think of you and what mm. yeah so what do you think of you i think <laughs> i think people think i'm pretty weird <laughs> um, <laughs> why is that scott um, and finicky and like like a bit spectrumy and <laughs> spectrum just yeah. like is that very a word? particular <laughs> <laughs> but, um, on the positive side, hopefully, I have some utility in some way. That, like things that like need gold. things that need to be thought about a lot. Then maybe there's some positive, in that. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe some level of entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great answer. That is you to a T. <laughs> that was brilliant. Oh, best answer ever. Well done. Oh, well, let me geez. tell you what I think of Scoot. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the setup. Yeah. Um, I think on the po- I I like to be like I have a deep seated need for people to like me and okay. i think that probably affects me too much i think i go too far for too many people because of that deep-seated mm. need for yep. to okay. be liked. So, to be accepted. And, and i'm doing better at that this year i've cut it's gonna sound awful but i've actually cut people out of my life this year yeah, and not you to the, you give me to... shout outs or <laughs> <laughs> name and shame. <laughs> not, not to the point of deliberately. If I saw them in the street, I wouldn't. I, I'm just talking about attention that you pay. To the that. attention I pay to them, or the, I notice I'm not the... getting as many text messages. <laughs> <anymore. Yeah. laughs> I made a list, and you made the cut. You made the cut. It's understandable. Um, I get it. <laughs> yeah, I ju- I just like you've got to look after yourself first. So I've definitely tried to be better at that this year but i have got that need to like it's a me thing but i need to be like um what i think people think of me i think people know that i'll do anything for them 
Like I'll drop everything and do anything for my mates, my family, all that kind of stuff. I think people probably also know that I'm a creature of stress and anxiety as yeah. well, though, and that I take things more seriously than others do. Yeah. Like I know that there's people who it's water off a duck's back when something happens, but it affects me. Yeah. And I yeah. wear it and I carry it with me. So yeah. uh, I think it's both things. I hope it's both things. I hope it's the good and the bad, yeah. um, like anyone would. But yeah, yeah, I'd say that. I think we all have a touch there of being accepted and liked and that kind of thing. I think as you get older, it diminishes a fair yeah. bit. And I like you think of some old grandpas out there like that. I just yeah. don't give a fuck oh, yeah. about anyone yeah. or anything. Yeah. So, and I think that as, as you get a bit older and you, like we've talked about on the potty before with mental health stuff where you're going, well, we worry about too much, yeah. overthink too yeah. much. And it just forms that cloud around you. And the, yeah. the, the more we think about what other people think of us, that it, it can affect you negatively. And that's so. what I'm trying to get the balance with at the moment. Yeah. I'm trying to get the balance between putting my... That's why I say a couple... I know it sounds terrible to say a couple people out, but I, would, I don't want to invest all this time into this person I hardly know, but I know that they need support right now. But then I don't have enough energy for my friends or my family, my close friends or family who actually need me. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so One thing displaces another thing. That's you don't right. really think that as it's happening, you're going, well, I'm spending time on this thing. That's mean I'm not spending time on this other yeah. thing that's important, yeah. more important. Yeah. 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 So I think it's that. I think, but uh, on the other side of things, I know that I am a um, a ball of anxiety and a ball <laughs> of stress. I know what I am. Yeah. Like, I, I think my, like Scoot said it to me the other day that, sometimes my biggest strength is also my big, biggest weakness and that is that i it, i'll throw everything into this mm. um to support this person but i'll throw everything into this and it'll affect me negatively here so i, yeah. I know that i'm viewed that way I, this so. morning i had to go to bunnings quite early did you take and, a shit <laughs> no i didn't <laughs> i was already in the no, single I toilet that they've yeah. got there. no I, and uh this lady was walking out with a big bag of like I don't know it was mulch or something like a big twenty five kilo <laughs> bag. Was it actual mulch. shit? <laughs> Could have been yeah. fertilizer, yeah. <laughs> and she she was sort of had her keys and she was struggling, and she's middle aged kind of thing. And I said, "Oh, you're right. You need a hand." And she just looked at me like I was some creep. Oh, it's a hard line yeah. now, at isn't this, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm yeah. like, it's it's kind of like world though, know. where you're just so nice that you're going to try and fucking help someone, and you're yeah. just a creep because of it. It's a shame that it does deter you from. Trying to help people because you're yeah. worried about their reaction. Like the kid, I, I was last episode now, but I was just, I would happily offer him a lift to school, but like, I'm, like <laughs> you've been the perceived as is that I'm, you know, yeah, I'm a creep, Ferguson. Yeah. What's his name? Yeah, no, <laughs> Dennis name Ferguson. Dennis Ferguson Day. Yeah, there's a whole, there's a whole Daniel Morgan Day. Put to stop that. On. There you go. Uh, yeah, and then I, I kind of felt a bit awkward after it, and then I had to get some garden stuff, like some hardwood stakes, and I thought I need to make myself feel a bit better now because that lady thinks i'm a creep and uh, i guess the the you know i'm female just because i'm female if it had had it been a guy struggling i would have asked as well yeah. you know you look like you're trying to get your keys out and carrying 25 kilos then you would have called him starving but, <laughs> so, but would your would your demeanor been different would you mean it i don't think so say, hey, it's mate, just like hand, oh, bruv, oh, i might have said mate or something like yeah. that hey mate you need and a hand that and so, yeah what a world though if you can't Anyway. Yeah. And then I, so I went up to the counter with the, the garden stakes, hardwood stakes, or only like this big. And I said, vampires are real, you know that. And she just looked at me and then she went. I have a lot of moments like that in life. And then she laughed. Oh, <laughs> like this awkward pause. I have so many moments like that where I, <laughs> I, I put out. Uh, like some weird joke like that, yeah. it, like to a public, per like yeah, to a shopkeeper yeah. or something like that, and I get nothing back. And then oh. I, I, I just like I have the thing in my I, mind. I, like, oh, I probably shouldn't say it, <laughs> yeah. but I say it. I sit on the side. Yeah. <laughs> I did that. I did that one where I was walking up the really steep hill down at Prize Pocket, yeah. and I was walking up it, and someone was coming down the other way, <laughs> and um. Uh, the guy goes, oh, it's easier going down. I go, oh, that's what she said. He goes, have a good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Straight away, like just completely. I have, think, a, have a good, have a good I, afternoon. I think those things are worth it. It's like at soccer um, where if you know some cross comes in, I should probably just control that and have a nice shot. I'll always go for the like the glory. Bicycle the something, kick or yeah. Something. Of course because I will. think if I try 100 and I pull one off, yeah. 
that is way more worth it than if I tried none. Just <laughs> didn't have it. Yeah. So well, I'll, on that, yeah. you have got a bicycle kick goal in before, yeah. and I've heard about it numerous <laughs> times, but I haven't heard about the 99 misses. Oh, yeah, I've, yeah. I missed twice on the weekend. <laughs> oh, no, the goalie saved it. Oh, ah, yeah. that's all right. You are good at a bicycle. Yeah, I, I, going back to the I think I might, I, I might, sometimes I might come across as a bit arrogant, maybe. I don't know. You, when you first met me, I don't I know. I think so. No? Okay, uh, well, that's cool. No, I think you're well-liked. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Personable. Yeah, I mean, Benji, that, that Uber a... driver that you oh, yeah. were calling out on the coconut oil might have thought so. Oh, what a dickhead, yeah. Well, we've talked previously about my lack of any self-esteem whatsoever. <laughs> it's, it's kind of weird. Like, in public, I can do anything, like, with the kids. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I don't care what anyone thinks of me, but yeah. around friends and family, it's a different story. Yeah, right. Yeah. I actually had a bit of a moment a couple of years ago where I actually said to Adele, am I, have I got a problem? Like, am I actually, have I got some weird handicap that people are just being nice to me for? Like, I couldn't work out whether that was a reality. Oh, right. Like, yeah. whether people just pretending. Do you know what's like, weird? Is my carer here? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every, everyone talks about it when I'm not around. Yeah, totally. Do you know what's weird? The straight- I've had that exact yeah, same thought about you. myself. Really? Maybe everyone has that at some point, Maybe. but I've had that exact same thought too. Well, I've I... never asked my wife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I went, yeah one more your step. actor of a wife. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> she did check your her wife. Your wife slash <laughs> carer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your secret carer. <laughs> yeah, she went through that door with her phone. Yeah. yeah, it was real weird. She's there to help you through the uh, <laughs> surprise treadmills of life. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, super weird. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, very good. Yeah. 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 I actually, that, what you brought up about as you get a bit older, you start to care less. You st- you start to just speak your mind a bit more. I, I think I pinpointed the exact moment when that happened to me, and it was last weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So like, I, I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a people pleaser as well. Like I just like everyone to get along. And, yeah, like, no, I'm like, not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm wearing that. What would Tommy do? Bracelet. <laughs> Happy so, barbecue. Like I'll try yeah. to de-escalate situations and stuff. So, um, coaching the kids cricket. Um, so I was the umpire at the bowlers end. So our team okay. was bowling. Yeah. And then the square leg, um, leg umpire was from the other team. Yep. Um, so he's just basically judging run outs at the batter's end. Yep. And I'm doing the everything else. Yep. Um, you, doing and, all the heavy lifting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for that, innings. no balls wide. Yeah, stuff, no balls yeah. wide and run outs at my end. No yeah. Um, that's pertinent. Run outs at my end. Yes. Okay. Um, so. And I've also gotten a bit more, like, what I would usually do in cricket umpiring, I'd give the benefit of the doubt to the other team. And I yes. think this so, yeah. this game, I just decided, I'm just going to I'm just gonna be fair. I'm just going to be real. Call like, it as it is. Just call it as it is. Yep. I don't care anymore what anyone thinks. Yep. If they think I'm being biased to the other team, I'm just going to be fair to these kids yep. and not, like, punish my kids just because they're on our team. Or I'm just going to just call whatever I think. Yeah. You finally put your big bad boy pants on. Put my on. big boy pants on. And <laughs> Adult boy. Made an actual <laughs> and I didn't really that you love, were willing I didn't, to stand on. Yeah, I didn't really love the guy, the other guy. He just made a few comments to our bowlers about, like, oh, no, he, one of our bowlers just bowled a no ball. It was a bit high, full toss, above waist tight. He didn't mean to do it. And he's yeah. just, just the way he said... Mate, you've got to try not to do that. You're like, mate, he didn't mean to do it. It's just, just condescending just, yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't if say If he does that. it three times, maybe pipe yeah. up. Yeah. Um, yeah. So then a run out happened at the bowler's end. Your end, yep. So the other, so the non-my team kids were batting. Yep. And I just thought it was out. Yep. I just called it out, put yep. my finger up. That was it. And then he's tried to overturn the decision. Oh, he's really? like called to the scorers, no, nah, it's not out. Uh, and, and oh, normally, like, dickhead. I'd probably go, oh, okay, maybe I got it wrong. Yeah, cool. Not out. Yeah. Um, yeah like, but then I, that was the time. moment where I was like, no, that's, sorry, that's out. I pointed back again. Yes. And, <laughs> and Excellent. Made it, and I think that was the moment where I'm like, actually, no. I'm yeah. Now I'll just... That's yeah, good. Doing yeah. This. My my training of you is complete. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Couple more. Yep, two more. Two more. All right, let's go. What do we got here? Uh, ooh, what's this going to be? Uh, were you ever bullied as a kid? Yeah. Yeah? That, I'm not sure it? I want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was. I'll give you a cuddle. I was. Yeah? Yeah, primary school. I was a weird mixture in primary school of well-liked 
An absolute wanker. And, <laughs> and bullies. An absolute... yeah, there's an example. I found your bully. There's an example of the bullying. Well, he went to school 15k down the road. So, um, oh. no, I was, I was. Jesus, oh, oh, maybe someone else should go. <laughs> I got a moment here. <laughs> Hell. Sorry, I didn't honour the moment. So, yeah, how would how did your truth feel? What was your truth in this? Step into it. Oh, oh. I think we are. I think I might be done. Um, yeah, episode twenty-seven. That's where we call pull up stuff. Uh, still got another one. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I don't know. I just was picked on a bit. So I will we'll move on. I can't wait to hear about Captain Fucking Popular over here. Oh uh, <laughs> uh, no! Like in primary school, it was a small school. There were four really popular guys. Right. And I was probably the fifth. Right. And so some days I was with them. Yeah. But uh, in, some days I wasn't. And there was times where it was. Um, there was whispers going on in class and it was like, oh, we're going to gang bash Chris after school. Uh, and there's a couple of times where I was on the Oval and I had to stand up and defend myself. Thankfully, I was always a big kid. Yeah. So I just fought for myself and stuff. But yeah, there's a bit of that going on. But yeah. um, I reckon it's made me more equipped to be a dad because I think I mentioned a couple of episodes ago, <laughs> Cam's been bullied a little yep. bit yep. and I've taught him how to just fight for yourself and not stand for people's bullshit and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. yeah. I I remember getting bullied, uh, I think a lot of it was in grade six um, because um, I got picked to play in the grade seven footy team. Mm. So all the people that were 12, 13 or whatever playing grade seven, but I got picked and to play in their team and at school footy and the guys that got put out of the team because of me but then they bully me because yeah. I, I was a better player but they were older and yeah. I, I remember getting um, smacked in the face and punched mm. at, and this is you know early 80s you know sort of um it was just normal for yeah. us and it was a pretty rough school it was Toowoomba mm -hmm. primary school state school uh, and I think that I would have to say then I probably actually bullied kids as well. Mm. And that's just being brutally honest because it was just the norm. It was yep. just the culture in that around, in and around that time. So I got bullied. I probably bullied some kids, but never physically or anything mm. like that. So um, probably would have been some mean and nasty stuff mm. said. Yep. But. It was all kind of, and I was quite popular at school. I was a football captain. I was the cricket, you know, that kind of the primary school. High school is a bit different. I, th I guess getting into high school, there was a lot more people there. Small fish, a big pond, small fish. So. Yeah, yep. yeah. And then you cool sort of headed. establish yourself. And by the time it come to grade 12, it was in a similar situation. I remember getting grade 11 and grade 12s were bullying me and mm. shoulder barging and wanting to fight and all this kind of stuff. And uh, it's just... They, it was kind of like tall poppy syndrome for them yep. as well, you know. So, um, yeah. So, but, you know, I like, and like I said, just being brutally honest, I probably bullied some kids, but not to the extent I was bullied. It was probably more rough banter, mm -hmm. I guess, than bullying. So, I reckon it's yeah. hard as an adult knowing what you know, like, especially as a father. Yeah. Knowing what you know now as an adult and a father. It's hard to look back on your school years because I'm the same. Like I'll, I'd put my hand up and say I was, I bullied people. Yeah, there was a handful of people that I can remember remember that I would call it bullying. Um, and I look back on those years, and that's probably my biggest regret from school is the way I treated those few Certain people. Amount of people. Yeah, um, yeah. I think it's hard to judge yourself on that. Because we know now what yeah. we know. Yeah. And we're teaching that to our children and we're watching our children go through those same challenges and coaching them on how to deal with it themselves. Um, you can't, like, it's, it sounds like a bit of a cop out. You can't judge who you were back then. No. Uh, because of what you know now. No. But it, it is actually 
quite difficult to look back on those yeah. those moments and just be like, I often think about the people that are, that I'm talking about and just think, ah, I wonder where they are now. Hope they're okay. Yeah, that kind of stuff. yeah. So, and I think that's showing empathy for yeah. it. But like I was saying, you kind of bullied people because you were bullied, and it was especially in my era that growing up, that was just the norm. Mm. Oh. It was there was punch ups nearly every day. There was our Red Rover or British Bulldog and all that turned was tackled yep. and it was turned into Biff. Yep. And if you couldn't handle yourself, mm. you know, you, you, if someone was got, got hurt or cried, everyone gave him shit. Mm. And that, I guess that's class as bullying. Mm. Oh, you're sook, you know, you're bloody cr you're yep. crying every day. Like that kind of thing, oh, you know? Yep. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, your turn. Yeah. I reckon I didn't think of myself as a bully ever, but looking back, I have actually told my kids there's been times where what I've done I would think of as bullying. Club, Not, yeah. Never ever a ringleader of anything, but I would just say to them, if you join in with it or if you go along with it, you're yeah. actually part of it. That's right. And yeah. there's, that would be, there's definitely regrets I have of situations where someone's getting bullied and I'm, I'm, I'm there, I'm, I'm not the leader of it, but I'm still kind of not defending them or yeah. anything like that. So yeah. that's what I kind of tell the boys. Like you might not think that, you don't just go with the pack, you know. If yeah. someone's if someone's, um, yeah, being bullied or whatever, you be the one who's going. Hey, do you want to come? Yeah, come that's, to that's you know? what I was yeah. going to say. I'm, it takes I'm, more courage to do that, I think, yeah. Yeah. than to stay quiet and not I'm, do anything. I'm a huge advocate for that with my kids now. Is not only not following, but being the one to stop it and the being the one to look after the person mm. who's feeling that way. Yeah. Um, and I've found that quite challenging because i've got a boy and a girl yeah and i found that quite challenging in i've had i feel like sometimes i've had to learn how to be a parent twice had to learn how to oh, raise yeah. a boy yeah and teach a boy how to cope with this but yeah. then i've had to learn how to raise a girl and teach a girl how to deal with this and with a boy and it's going to sound quite sexist but it, it's not meant to be it's just coping with life but um i'm teaching him handle things this way, stand up for yourself, be like all like this. But with um, my daughter, I'm like, don't get drawn into the psychological, mm. um, all the bitching and all that kind of stuff. Like yeah. be, be an advocate for it's a different kind, beast. kindness yeah. and all that kind of stuff. It is two different things. And Ben, you've got a boy and a girl, so you've probably um, dealt with the same thing. But the big thing being, if you see someone being dragged down, be the one to drag them up. Yeah. And you can't always expect that. And I've said this to them, like, you may not have the courage to yeah. do it in the moment yeah. when they're the heat of it. Yeah. If you can, then great. If you can't, at least afterwards, just yeah. go, hey, just, okay. yeah. are yeah. you all right? I, I you know, did like... some stuff with the, there were some little guys in our grade and they'd get bullied and I remember standing in and helping them because I just felt sorry for them, yeah. you know, and I'm like, and I became really good friends with one of them, went to his house, sleepovers and that kind of thing. But I was one of the biggest kids, but I was one of the youngest. Mm. And these some of the kids were a year older, but they were tiny. And I remember copying it because I stood up for them. Mm. And I went, well, that's all right. I can handle. I play footy, and I, you know, you can. I got a big forehead. Didn't really hurt that much. So, what about you, Benji? You no, I didn't do any of that shit. I'm top bloke. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know what yeah. you're talking about. Yeah. You need an award too. <laughs> no, no. She was running out. No, no. In my primary school, I was always put a year ahead. Yep. So I was always in like a comp sort of a year ahead of my grade. So I kind of hung out with the older kids a lot in primary, which was pretty good. Yeah. And then, yeah, high school, just did a lot of band stuff. I was kind of rarely there. So, yeah. Like we did line up of chicks, just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> now you toured with the Screaming Jets at what age? Yeah, thirteen. Thirteen, yeah, you yeah, toured yeah. with the Screaming Jets. Yeah. That's awesome, That's man. Great. How good's that? Yeah. So we did, yeah, a lot of stuff. Play, play in front of the school, like five, five times a year or something like that. Yeah. So yeah, it was pretty. Okay. Good. All right. Our last one. Uh, do you believe in karma? I like My Name is Earl. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good show. What's that? What's my that Name is Earl. That's a TV show. Yeah, what's good to come uh, The whole show is that he is a bad person. He's a criminal. Oh, yeah. And he, then he gets hit by a bus. Oh, yeah. And he realises, do good things, and good things happen to you. So he makes a list of all the bad shit that he's done in his life. And he, and he just, is the whole show is him crossing them off one by one. And to get better mm -hmm. karma because his whole life is built around karma um i like 
the premise of karma. I like yeah. using it as a tool for teaching my kids how to be good people. Like yeah. if you do good things, good. I don't think I believe in it scientifically. Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Spirit. You know that I'm a bit of a being of scientific proof. <laughs> um, I think it's a very good concept. I don't think it's a good um, way to live your life. Yeah. I don't think it's actually anything. Yeah. I think it's energy. Like you put out positive, good yeah. energy. Yeah. Um, I think that's something. Yeah. And I think that, you know, mindsets around it as well. But I've been dealt some pretty shitty cards and I don't think I've been that bad of a person either. Mm. And I think that's just kind of life as well. That's right. Um, and, and I don't think you should sit there and reevaluate and that and think, well, karma is something. So I must have been Therefore a shit I did something human. Shit, yeah. Therefore yeah. I did something. Yeah. And, and when those things happen to you, and I've always gone, I must have been the biggest prick in a previous life because I'm trying to yeah, be a good no. person in this life. And I'm going, oh, fuck. But that's that kind of that victim, why me mentality. you rather than, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and you guys know that some of them have been pretty bad, but um, it's overcoming that and thinking we'll just get back to being you know, a good person and then good things do happen and mm. it's what you dwell on, I guess, and that's mm. what you create in your own life. Yep. If you focus on the bad shit, they're just gonna, it's just going to keep happening. If you focus on the good shit, the bad stuff's going to happen anyway, yep. but you just keep your, your mindset around the good stuff and then they become much easier to deal with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. No, I agree with that. I, I don't believe in the spiritual side of as some being that's controlling if you do this and this happens to you, but I do believe in... The I think it's the law of attraction. Uh, does anyone actually have any real knowledge on that, or am I just a little bit? It's about what, yeah, yeah. The kind of it's not so much energy, I think, but more so the way you interact with other people. If you do, yeah. if you do thing, if you have this outlook, then more of those types of things will happen because it does attract people with like mind. Like, yeah, you know, if you're at a barbecue and you're, everything you're talking about is positive and stuff like that, those people are going to gather around you, yeah, and in a bigger circle as well. So. Yeah. Yeah. So I think in that sense, yeah, I I think there's something I don't know how it works, but if you if you're putting positive energy out there, then it, whether it's either, whether it's purely mindset that you interpret things more positive when they come back, or if it is literally, it attracts other positive people and yeah. situations. You know. Yeah. It snowballs as well uh, yeah. around that. Yeah. And you just feel good. Yeah. You know? That's right. Yeah. 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 And so. yeah, if we overthink all that kind of stuff, it just keeps going down that path. So. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, look at us back on the horse podcast, unlocking all of universe secrets. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that was deep. Think, yeah, it was quite deep. Yeah. But um, yeah, thank you everyone once again. Uh, yeah, please send us some reviews and uh, written five stars, anything like that. We're going to have a comp coming soon with a bit of merch. Yeah. Mm. And uh, we'll get it out to you, and some of the merch will be available to purchase as well. So thank you very much, and we'll see you again for episode. What are we up? We've got to be 28. Jeez, we're getting through them. All right. Cheers, guys. Cool, cool. Can we talk about that?